Hi guys, it's Toshiba here with The Joyful Warrior, and if I sound stuffy, it's because I am. I'm doing a year in review of my fifth grader's school year. He will be in the sixth grade, but I just thought since his box was sitting here, I've been sitting on the sofa, um, sneezing all day, blowing my nose, <laughs> sorry for that, that I would take a few minutes to give you guys a review. I don't think I ever got around to recording what we were using, so in this video you'll see what we used, and we'll talk about what worked, what didn't work, and I'll try to make it fast since I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Okay, anyway. So as you all know, that my soon-to-be sixth grader will be going to the hybrid school this year um, using BJU exclusively. So that's at the school. At home, we do plan on doing some other things to supplement because we don't love um, the idea that BJU does mastery with math. Um, you know, Dave is the child that we talked about identifying that he's mildly dyslexic, but he's also a voracious reader. So, um, kind of an oxymoron, but hey, he's a gifted child. So here's what we used. So we used a Becca um, Academy, and we only bought half of the program. That was a new thing that started this year, and we were glad to do it because a Becca language arts did not work out well for us. So we just um, purchased... Um, they don't call it half the curriculum, but I do. We purchased the arithmetic, science, history, and Bible, and that's what came in the um, package. So anyway, so you can see here, he did arithmetic five. Um, this is what we started out with, and we continue to use. It is a spiral approach, if you haven't used Rebecca before, and um, he really loves it. Also, this is investigating God's, God's world world and this was science he also really loves science it's actually a science reader but if you have the videos the classmates read the book to you and so that really helps with what in dyslexia is called ear reading so most of the time the class is reading the things to you so that he memorizes things by hearing them um, the next thing is old world history and geography um, again this is fifth grade um, there probably are plenty of reviews on this. If you want a more extensive look through of this, um, just let me know down in the comments and I'll do it here is what it goes over. Um, it's funny because he's doing this also in BJU for sixth grade, so he'll have a good helping of that. But this is what the table of contents looks like and what kind of areas they go over. Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, all of that. I didn't do that with science, but if you want to get a look at what they cover in science this year, here are those. And you know, Abeka touches on the subject, giving you a really short understanding of what they are and um, then moving on to the next thing. The last thing that they did were planets, I think. Oh, yeah, it's covered under Sky and Wonder. So, um,. So, you know, we did not use language arts from Abeka, but we did, we're still on these. We're using the read and comprehend skill sheets. I actually highly recommend these because it helps, they're timed and they used to be in fourth grade at five minutes, to five and a half, and then it got down to four and a half in here, probably down to three and a half minutes at the end of the book. So just to have them re speed up their fluency and understanding a little bit faster than what they would have previously had to do in the fourth grade when we did these. I really like these. I'm actually ordering these for my third graders. My third graders currently have them, but I'm ordering them for my soon to be third grade twins in the second grade level and we'll probably do them twice a week versus once a week. Uh, another thing that we use to supplement, instead of using um, Abeka's language because it did not work for us, we ordered essentials in writing. I ordered a level down, but I could have ordered a level up because he actually does not enjoy it. We probably won't be using this next year. Okay, it does help him. Kind of, It kind of reiterates everything that we already had learned, and so there's not a lot of new material. And the part that I wanted him to get to, which is the writing, I mean, he's still working through this. He's gonna work through this for the rest of the summer so that he can get through the writing. And so, um, yeah. Not that it wasn't a bad buy. I would suggest that anybody use this for the first time, buy it on level, unless it's a severe case of um, dyslexia in, in like reading and th things of that nature, because this was a little bit too low for him. It built confidence, but I don't think it was the right level for him. I should have gotten level five, but it does come with a DVD, which lasts about five or 10 minutes. So it's really 
good. I did buy the test for this one, ended up not really doing it. These are the tests and quizzes. I do allow him, not make him, but most of the time we do the speed rolls, except for summer, and we do the tests also. Um, that's his little hand sneaking mm -hmm. in there. But, and this actually helps on some of the days after just watching 45 minute length videos that sometimes having a test is a break, <laughs> having to just take the test without having to watch a video. For spelling, of course, we did spelling you see. Um, again, this is our first year using it. He's almost done with this book. I think he's on, maybe not almost done. He's in lesson 25, I think it goes to 36. So he has about 10 weeks left. He'll continue to do this until he's done with it. Um, I don't make him do it every single day, but I like him to complete a week because it helps him. I don't know what you're saying. Are we doing it next year? No, we won't be using that next year. I had this that I bought like last summer and then wanted to use it over this summer, but we really don't use it. It's really not helpful because he goes, he's still working at the end of his Rebecca curriculum. So we don't use that. I'll probably keep for next year. We just, so this is, let's, let's skip this for now. Um, health, he just started to do health. We got to the end of the school year and I would have, I was glad to see him finish um, his science and his history, but I didn't want to bog him down with health. So health is at the end and we're taking it very slowly. He really enjoys it. It's very science related. This is the fifth grade. If you've never seen it before, again, it's mostly a reader and the class usually reads the things to them. And there's a few activities in here and I'll show you the content so that you can see what this health book goes over. Rebecca has a really good health program. Actually for next year, I'm not purchasing a separate health program. We're gonna use my third and, Dave did fourth grade with Rebecca last year and those readers for my actual third and fourth graders. And we're gonna read them together and go over them because they're really helpful and I like that the kids can read them on their own. So I really do like health. He just started this a few weeks ago, maybe last week actually. And one thing we added later on in the year was Wordly Wise 6, and he just started this just a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, and we're taking it very slowly. It's vocabulary. He started out loving it, and then now he does not love it. I think it's a bit of the summer lays that's going on, but it's really helpful, and he learns a just word about things that he probably wouldn't have learned any other way. Um, it's kind, It's secular, so it's not like our rest of our Christian curriculum that we have. Um, you can see what the lessons go over if you're interested in buying it. It's very bland and boring. It's the same types of activities every single week. But something, sometimes you just have to do things because you have to, which is why I purchased that other um, vocabulary curriculum, curriculum or the fun vocabulary because I don't want my other kids to go through this and Dave is probably gonna do that with us next year. Then, we, or we actually, one thing that we bought that we did not use, but we're starting it now is Sunlight Science Level. Oh, uh, I don't know the level, but the body book comes in. If you look in the Sunlight Science for 10 to 13 years old, he loves science and we really thought we would be able to do it, but I could not give him a lot of my undivided attention and I feel terrible about that because I have two sets of twins and so he always got kind of pushed to the wayside because he's so mature and so awesome that he would finish school before I even had time to get to him and I didn't want to belabor the issue with the extra sunlight science so we're doing it this year in the sunlight science is more of a health curriculum but it's very doctor oriented and since he wants to be a doctor it really was meant for middle school so some of it was a little bit above his um, understanding and there were lots of worksheets so we decided to take the worksheets out and now we're starting we're doing these out of order because we're going through the puberty stage and so we're starting to do that's really why I bought it so that it would be more of a biblical representation of how to talk about the birds and the bees and my husband is gonna do some things with him and so am I and so again tear tear anyway um, one of the things that I just purchased last week at Barnes & Noble is word problems again he's dyslexic so you'll find that a lot of dyslexic students have problems with word problems anytime there are anytime there are lots of words and problems to answer and we just started this last week and he had a really tough time on day one mostly because of not reading um, but I think that he'll get better we only bought this last I think Wednesday and he only did one day so this is um, Carson DeLosa word problems it's by spectrum um, these are very popular but we're gonna do this probably two pages a day until we get in school because we have to just we just have to work on those things that make us uncomfortable and since we use spelling you see this year we're going to also use this um, spelling skills by Harcourt nothing major it's just spelling and cursive and 
some of the words are written in cursive. I don't know that he'll write in cursive, but I just wanted him to get some extra time, and I think you do. He'll be able to do two or three of these a day. Not very difficult. Just to work on those lists lists of spelling words, because after doing logic of English in fourth grade, I gave him a break for fifth grade with spelling UC, but I still want to make sure that he remembers the rules, and when we were going over a few of the rules the other day, he actually did not remember a lot of the rules, which is very common with... Um, dyslexia in that working memory and so anyway that's what we did for fifth grade um, I'm trying to remember what we started with that we're not using I don't think there was much that um, we didn't use I think we used everything except the sunlight science which was a little bit of a bummer like I said I purchased the sunlight reading the sunlight literature program and my other kids did not use it because they did not like being read to at the beginning of the year so I've been reading to them little by little and letting them listen to lots of audiobooks to try to get them acclimated for our new year oh yeah and the last thing that we do I almost forgot almost forgot he also my third graders are doing um, this and so I bought him a book and I let him listen to some of the teachings from the language just to brush up on those language skills again it's not that he doesn't know them it's just that it's hard for him in the working memory and so he'll do two lessons of these a day sometimes he watches some of their videos sometimes he does not because it's not difficult but just to keep those skills going and I actually highly recommend this I don't see a whole bunch of videos about Abeka and I'm a part of all of their Facebook groups and he gets a lot of flack for being school at home and I don't mind that at all. It's what we were accustomed to from Christian school. But I will tell you that we started with Abeka 4 last year and their language was way ahead of what my son could have done at that juncture. But the third grade, I understand why because this really prepares them in a gentle way. So all of those Charlotte Masoners out there that have used Sunlight or other programs they think are too gentle, I would say that this would fall right in the middle because it's one page a day, they're learning one new skill, they're not they're not learning multiple skills on top of one another. So like with this day, it was just about writing a letter and it was just about the parts of the letter the day before. So you, you wouldn't be overwhelmed. Like some of the other programs, and I really loved BJU when we used it back in Christian school for a, you know, an average learner, but for, for boys, who you know have attention difficulties and that they can't do a whole bunch of things at one time I would say that a Becca does a great job and this is their great level but what I will make a suggestion is that my babies the seven-year-old twins did a Becca second grade and I would have actually if you have a child who's mastered phonics I would do this if you're a parent led I would couple this with the second grade letters and sounds in their language because the language is in my opinion, kind of lacking in the second grade in terms of writing and getting to know nouns and things of that nature. And it only introduces them in here at the very end. And so I would say this language three could totally be coupled with a Becca's level two letters and sounds if your child is kind of ahead with the Becca because you doing this in third grade, if you compare the scope and sequence with the BJU or even with the essentials in writing, this would fall behind in that scope and sequence of even in first language lessons, one of the first things that I saw when I was doing first language lessons with my babies is one of the first things they learned is what a noun was and that was geared toward first and second grade and they don't learn what a noun is until the end of this book and so i would just give that as a suggestion i'm not an expert but i this is my subject this is the subject that i love to teach my kids and that i can help them with and i would say that this book for an average learner who already knows phonics really well this would be perfect for second grade even maybe midway through second grade because doing it in third grade is a little behind based on the other scope and sequences that i've checked out in terms of and again i've only done a becca Centrals in writing, the logic of English, first language lessons. I've done a few, and if you just look at the samples on Christian Book, you'll see that the scope and sequence falls a, a tad behind other curricula. Anyway, I don't want to prolong the video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any suggestions of what you are using or what you guys changed to throughout your year that made you a little bit more successful, leave those down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Please thumbs up the video and subscribe if you like to see videos about curriculum and homeschooling things. Thanks a lot. Have a blessed day. Bye.